Hey guys, welcome back. If you watched my other video on this new med kit that I picked up, I've got a bleeding control kit from Skinny Medic. Uh, backstory is, if you've watched anything gun related on the internet, you'll know about the Kentucky ballistics um, accident. And what I wanted to do was upgrade my not only daily driving vehicle med kit, but I also wanted to upgrade what I take to work. Uh, I mostly work in an office, but uh, I just wanted to have something a little bit more substantial on me and not have to rely on the office first aid kit that's probably gone through and things are missing out of. So what I got today is my daily backpack carry. And uh, this is as it comes, except for one thing that we'll get into. Uh, the backpack bleeding control kit uh, and the Red Vanquist. Uh, and let's go over the bleed kit. As you can see here, uh, this is a little bit smaller than the large. Uh, there's a little less stuff inside of it, but uh, it's, it's all vital stuff, if you ask me. Uh, comes with this nice option to actually put a label on there. Uh, that's so I can see it in my bag. I like the red. However, I can't stick this on the outside of my bag, so I gotta deal with something a little bit like that. But sitting in my bag like this, I know exactly what this, this guy here is, so. The outside of the bag, these are really nice Vanquist tough built gear. One reason I went with Skinny Medic uh, is because it's all US produced. Uh, I like that in a company, so I wanted to go with everything uh, in there and I'm supporting somebody that puts out some good work. So the outside of it, we've got Molly out here on the outside. Uh, behind this label, there is a little bit of Velcro and some uh, neoprene gloves. Uh, these Molly, you can also attach something to this. This is Velcro on the outside as well as up here, as you can see. So this could easily go out here like this. Going around to the sides, you've got some elastic here on the sides, and you've also got a little retention uh, Velcro clasp here. On the back, you just have your Cadora. You've also got two eyelets here, two eyelets here. Same thing on the right-hand side. As I said, this is how it comes in the box. You got your medical shears here to cut through anything that you really want to cut through. And then getting into the bag, uh, this is pretty neat how this works. I'm gonna hold it like this uh, and turn it around just because it's a little easier, but if this is hanging on your bag, and you need to get into it, what you have is this, this handle here with this Velcro red Velcro closure. And uh, it's really easy. There's two zippers that go down the front side here. And as simple as just pulling this handle down, it's gonna break this Velcro free here at the front and go figure. I pull it all the way down and it opens it right on up. <clears throat> so inside here, this is the only thing that I have changed so I've already taken the, the plastic bag off of the cat tourniquet, but this is your standardized cat tourniquet here, all right? It's got a red pull tab, all right? And you've also got your uh, your time stamp there. Uh, this is a, an elastic band that goes all the way across. You got an eyelet here, eyelets here. Uh, this is some nice thin nylon material. The other large item that you have on the front is your uh, trauma dressing. This is like your Israeli bandage. So this is a four inch flat Israeli bandage is what this is. Okay, on the right hand side, there's nothing over here. The front here, this is your uh, chest seal kit. This comes in twos, so there's, a, there's two of them. Uh, in case you got a hole in the front and a hole in the back, you use that as that. There's nothing else in the bottom here. The front here, this is a tack gauze. This is basically like a highly compressed, uh, dense uh, gauze that you can use for packing. You've also got some combi pads. These are basic dressings uh, for dressings and that's it. So um, the one thing that I'm, I am gonna upgrade with this, I wanna put some uh, hemostatic agent in here. So uh, some quick clot. I've got some from an old first aid kit that I basically bought these to start upgrading it. <clears throat> uh, other than that, this is a great, great kit. I feel for carrying back and forth to my work. Like I said, guys, this is the backpack bleeding control kit uh, in the red medium uh, Vanquist bag from Skinny Medic. Uh, if you like this, um, check the other video on the more first aid kit. That's just uh, basically something that uh, roll around with in each of the vehicles and, and just have uh, for your common day items as well as uh, one of those larger emergencies. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, check back for more updates on any other gear I got.